In this video, we shall discuss one our loss in seeing only profits in life. Two, why should we be truthful in our dealings? Three, Narad Muni's lust and his anger towards the Lord. Four, how the Lord sees us, his children. Five, our mistake in engaging with Maya Devi. We in this material universe are quite busy with ourselves. In our self-involvement, we forget that the Supreme Being is in fact our true owner and also the owner of this entire creation. In business or in general earthly transactions, we are driven with this idea that we should always be on the profiting side even if it means cheating the other party. We may feel that we are not killing or murdering anyone in the process, so it is alright to cheat other beings. All this just to be there on the profit side of things. Such an attitude is the world's most foolish conception. Let me exhort here, by having this very mindset, we have already ensured a big failure for ourselves. With this mindset, we shall only invite disturbance, sin and losses all the while. Our shallow mindedness does not allow us to look deeper into our transactions. By being truthful, we are actually ensuring our victory over self-deception and in fact aligning ourselves with long-term prosperity. But the mind keeps constantly wallowing in self-centeredness and lack of concern for the other beings in the world, thereby digging the grave for the spirit soul. The Ram Charit Manas highlights an event in the life of sage Narada who through the will of Bhagavan has demonstrated the foolhardiness of the mind. Unless we take pertinent lessons from the scriptures, we shall continue to be on the loss-making side. This is a confirmed fact. The Ramcharit Manas explains through an event in the life of Sage Narada of how two of the mind's fickle qualities of lust and pride created a slight ruffle in his life given his exalted state. Sage Narada once defeated the personification of lust, namely Kamadeva. Kamadeva, after having begged forgiveness from the great sage, left heavenward. Once lust personified left the scene, another weakness of the heart, namely self-pride, entered the sage's heart. The sage visited Brahmadeva and Lord Shiva, boasting about his apparent victory over Kamadeva as he was consumed by the germ of self-pride. Sage Narada was not quite appreciated by the two personalities. On leaving the abodes of these two great personalities, Sage Narada came to the conclusion that these two great personalities were envious of him and hence did not appreciate him. Now Sage Narada made his way towards Vaikuntha to meet the Lord of his heart, Sriman Narayana. When he narrated the story of victory over lust personified, the Supreme Being Narada became worried about the welfare of his favorite devotee since now Sage Narada had become proud. Nevertheless, the Lord praised Sage Narada. The Sage, having been satiated by his Lord, took leave and proceeded earthward. On the way, he glanced below and saw a beautiful new city. The Sage decided to descend into this new city. The king of that place, Shilnidhi, received the sage with great honor. The king took the sage to his inner chambers so that he could suitably serve the sage. Meanwhile, the king's daughter Vishwamohini arrived at the scene and started serving the sage. Now, sage Narada was enamored by the beauty of this princess and desired to marry her. It is interesting to note that when one is afflicted by one of the weaknesses of the heart, Automatically, the other weaknesses enter the heart easily. Sage Narada had allowed self-pride to overpower him. Without giving the credit of defeating lust personified to the all-protecting Sriman Narayana, the great sage took the onus. Only Sriman Narayana can withhold his external potency Maya Devi. No one has the capability of defeating lust, a weakness of the heart, and the paraphernalia of Maya Devi. It is another matter that she can also not affect the great Narada because he is the personal associate of the Lord. But for the sake of fallen human beings like us, 
the great sage demonstrated through his life the effects of the weaknesses of the heart first lust entered the sage's heart and then it made room for self pride the sage demonstrated how a single weakness also makes room for other weaknesses to enter the heart in the end the lord protected sage narada from the clutches of lust but since the intelligence of the sage had been hijacked by lust anger entered the sage's heart who issued a curse on the supreme lord to that effect the supreme being was born as a human being on the face of the earth who labored to get his consort back from the clutches of a demon thus sage narada set the scene for the ram avatar as soon as the lord received the curse he gleefully accepted it the sage suddenly realized his grave folly and by the grace of shriman narayana came to his senses and sought forgiveness from the lord the lord accepts his most fallen devotee and dances with them placing them on his very shoulders unfortunately we do not see his grace and find undue defects in the plan of the supreme being man is imperfect while the lord is ever perfect this we forget when a person associates with one material weakness he ruminates over it when we attain a certain position we revel in that mood this is association with maya devi thus we unconsciously plead her to rummage into our life when we are consumed by self conceit it eats up most of our intelligence and then we begin to malfunction when our illegitimate desire is not fulfilled we blame the lord forgetting the fact that the lord has saved us from a certain catastrophe we do not perform sadhan bhakti hence we are not capable of foreseeing the lord's larger plan the lord's larger plan is always to bestow good upon us however we have not insulated ourselves with bhakti sadhana and thus injured by the attacks of maya devi maya devi's very purpose of attack is to take us back to our source the supreme being but instead of understanding her true intentions we try to enjoy her through association with all the wrong intentions maya devi never fails to punish the ones who try to engage and enjoy with her we fail to understand that maya devi is our mother who punishes us for all our wrong moves